Hello again. Hey, Fire Agate Mark here. How's it going? I'm out here carving some more Fire Agate today. I figured I'd get caught up and uh, see how I like using some different bits. See if I can give you a really quick snapshot. This is just going to be a little short. We're going to do a little carving on some preformed pieces, pieces that I've been working for a while. Um, I've got this one and this one that I've been working on. I don't know how well the color is showing up. Uh, it's hard to see because right now you're seeing through a plexiglass shield that's protecting the camera from the splash and the dirt and everything. So, anyhow, let's get a little carving done and let's see if I'm using my magnifying visor and I'm about six to eight inches away from the stone. So I'm going to try to make sure that the stone stays centered in the shot. Um, and if it doesn't, I'll come back and try to adjust that and fix that. But this is just a real quick little video. I'm just going to do a little cleaning up. Uh, there's a pocket in here that needs to go a little bit deeper. Um, I'm using this uh, medium. That's the blue. Medium's fully centered, so diamond embedded through and through. Uh, I think this one was a diamond Pacific bit. I'm not really happy with the way it's wearing. It didn't really maintain that. Um, inverted cone shape that it what had initially it wore away a lot more quickly than uh, when I was using the Varencore bits and I am lucky <clears throat> I'm happy to announce that soon I'll be using some more Varencore bits and doing a demonstration with those I know that um, a cutting edge supply he does, they do offer a variety of different bits so I think I might get some of those to demo them out and see how everything's working. Alright, let's see. I tried to get a read for the stone by turning it different angles, looking at it in different lights. And then uh, it kind of gives me a better idea of what I'm doing. So I apologize for the noise. I apologize. It's going to get a little bit loud here for a second. Let's do a little carving. So I'm probably using five or 6,000 RPM as a uh, speed, and pressure-wise, probably a half ounce, maybe three quarters of an ounce of pressure. And I try to keep the bit moving regularly over the surface so it doesn't feed up any one area in particular. Sometimes I rig up a, a drip system with a bladder and uh, some tubing and then an on-off shut-off valve. But for now, I'm just dousing the stone in between. And I'm trying to define those lines, those ridges that naturally occur on the stone. And also, if there's any imperfections, tool marks, or voids, I'm trying to clean those up and blend them. check this video and just really quick and see if we're actually getting good color and uh, if so then I'm going to kind of continue on with a little bit longer video so this will be a test video how about that 